Let's consider now how we can use the mole in uh, making sure that we have the correct uh, amounts of reactants and we know exactly how much uh, products we're going to make. So if we go back to our old friend uh, the combustion of hydrogen to make water, uh, you can see that we uh, need uh, two moles of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen and I create two moles of uh, water. Uh, so if we put those into our molecular models, um, you can see that we have uh, two H2s and we times that by uh, 6.02 times 10 to 23 and uh, the same for oxygen and water as well. And now because we know how many moles we have, we can work out the masses that we need. So two moles of H2 uh, we know is going to be two times the uh, a molar mass of H2. Um, a mole of O2 is a one times uh, the molar mass of oxygen and uh, two moles of water is two times the molar mass of water. If we do that you can see we have four grams of hydrogen reacting with 32 grams of oxygen and that gives us 36 grams of water and that makes sense uh, because uh, we know we can't create or destroy matter uh, so if I add up my four grams and 32 grams on the left hand side that comes to 36 grams, which I have on the right hand side. However, it's unlikely that uh, when we come to do a reaction, we are always going to work with those exact uh, quantities. Uh, we could be given any uh, mass of hydrogen to work with, or any mass of oxygen, or asked to create any mass of water. So how do we deal with that? So in this example, uh, we're going to need to know how much oxygen do we require to react with eight grams of hydrogen? So how are we going to work that out? Well, in these types of uh, question, there are always uh, three steps to success. So let's go through those. So we know that we have, uh, for our hydrogen, we have got eight grams of this. So let's just uh, put that down. Um, we don't know uh, how much of that that we require. So the first thing we're going to do, we, we have a mass here, so the first thing we do is we'll work out the number of moles. And we're going to work out the number of moles of hydrogen, which is going to be the mass of uh, 8 grams, divided by the molar mass of H2, which is of course 2 times 1 of 2, and uh, that gives us 4 moles of hydrogen. Going back to our equation then, uh, we have 2 moles of H2 reacting with uh, 1 mole of O2, uh, but we don't have our uh, two moles of H2, instead we have four moles of H2. So in going from hydrogen to oxygen in terms of moles, we have to halve it. Um, so we need to do the same for four. So if we halve four, we get two moles of oxygen. So now it's the last step. Uh, we know that mass is equal to moles times molar mass. So we know we have two moles of uh, oxygen. Um, so all we need to do is uh, times uh, our two moles by the molar mass of oxygen, uh, which is 32, uh, to give us 64 grams of oxygen. So there's a second example. You may want to have a go at that yourself, see how you get on. If not, we're going to go through that uh, now um, and uh, see how you get on. So uh, let's make a start. So we know that we have got 18 grams of oxygen. Um, so the first thing uh, we need to do is we need to work out the number of moles of oxygen we have. Uh, so if we do that, uh, you'll remember that uh, moles, or the, the moles is going to be the mass uh, divided by the molar mass, um, uh, which gives us uh, 0 0.5625 moles. Uh, my mass is called 18, and my molar mass of O2 is 32. Step two, uh, step two, hopefully you remember, we then look at the equation, and we look to see uh, the ratio between uh, what we have to what we're going to, uh, which is one of those makes two of those. Uh, so if we give that a go, uh, we're going to need to double the number of moles of O2 to find the moles of MgO. Final step is, so our final step is of course finding the mass of magnesium oxide, which is the number of moles of magnesium oxide, which we have just uh, discovered uh, as being a 1.125. Molar mass of MgO is 24 plus 16, which gives 43.3, and that gives us an answer of 43.3 grams. Uh, okay, so final uh, one to give have a go at. Um, see if you can do uh, that one, uh, interesting ratio for you to work out, and uh, uh, you can stay tuned, and we'll go through this step by step, 
Uh, otherwise, uh, have a pause and then check your answer at the end. So, I'm sure you're all uh, pretty familiar with these now. Um, so, we've been told uh, how much hydrogen we have and we need to work out uh, the uh, mass of ammonia that we are going to produce. Uh, so, the first thing we need to do is work out the number of moles of hydrogen. If we do that, we will find that um, the uh, moles is mass over molar mass. Uh, molar mass of hydrogen is, of course, 2. Uh, so that means we have got 5 moles of hydrogen. Now, the tricky part comes from working out the number of moles of NH3 that we have produced, because it's a 3 to 2 ratio. And so it depends how confident you are with working with ratios. Uh, but the easiest way uh, to do this is to uh, look at the material that you're starting with. So I'm starting, I know about uh, hydrogen. Uh, so I know about hydrogen here. So, and I know I have got uh, five moles of hydrogen. And you divide that five by the big number in front of hydrogen, which is three. And then you times it by the number of the uh, uh, compound that you are going to, which is two. And if you do that, uh, for all the examples, it will work out. And so for our example, uh, we have got five moles. We divide by three times by two. And that means we're going to produce 3.3 moles of ammonia. So here's a little summary for you uh, in terms of working with more complicated ratios. Uh, when you do have that, you um, divide, uh, you find out how many moles you're starting with. You divide it by the number um, in front of it and you times by the number that you are going to. So our final step is to find the uh, mass of uh, ammonia that we are going to uh, produce. Uh, so we know mass is moles over molar mass. We have 3.3 uh, moles. Our molar mass of ammonia is 17, and that means that we produce 56.67 grams. Uh, so uh, you can download uh, a copy of these slides uh, from the website. Uh, by following the link at the beginning um, and uh, there'll be some more examples in a following video for you to have a go at uh, to make sure that you, you've really got a grasp of this.